In this video, we are going to walk through the new Google feature of adding display images to announcements in Google Classroom. So you may have noticed a pop-up appear when you logged into Google Classroom that says you now can add new display images in the stream for your announcements. So this is a nice way to make your stream really engaging for students, embed images directly into the stream. You can do it with images or GIFs. And so we um, are going to create some example announcements here and you can do this on the stream with announcements, um, not yet in classwork. So we have an example here of a display image announcement with an embedded GIF. And so when students go to your stream, they'll be able to see that embedded and they'll also be able to click on it and open it full screen. So when you create an announcement, you'll be able to add to it like normal, type in to your announcement to your class, and then you can add an image or a GIF using the Google Drive or upload options. So you can use those two um, options on the left to add a um, display image. So again, a great way to make your Google Classroom um, extra engaging and have some visual appeal um, to your announcements and to your stream and uh, catch your student's eye for those announcements. So use that upload or um, Google Drive option. So if you have an image saved to your drive or your computer, or a GIF. So here we have a fun GIF um, that we have saved to our drive and we've embedded here. And you'll see on the right, it is automatically added as a display image. You can click on the three dots if you would like to have it added as an attachment. You can remove the display image option if you don't want it to be embedded. Um, and then you can post that. It will include the title of the image or GIF. And so if you want to change that, you can change it wherever it is saved in your drive. So you want to rename it in your drive. And then once it's, you'll be, able, you'll be able to see that embedded directly in your stream with the title of the image or GIF um, as a caption. So again, we can add a uh, image and if we edit the image, you'll be able to set it as a display image. So sometimes it might not automatically um, set as a display image when you are formatting your um, announcement. And so you can edit your announcement and then click on the three dots next to it to set it as a display image or remove it as a display image. So that is available in the edit options for your announcement. If you add an image and it doesn't automatically set it as a display image, you can always click the three dots next to it and set it as a display image. So here you can see we've got embedded GIFs and images on our stream to make it engaging for our students.